Round 17 at the Aviva Premiership was one of high contrast. There was a record win for Exeter, a trialless game at the Rec, a draw at King's Home, a first loss in the Premiership at the Rico for Wasps, and there was a much needed win for Quinns, while Leicester Tigers continue to grind out results. Bath have scored a try at the Rec in every game this season, and until the loss at Sandy Park in the previous round, had crossed the whitewash in every game so far. But in Sale Sharks, Mike Ford's men came up against one of the most determined displays his side are likely to face. Sale made 133 tackles compared to 65 by the home side, and there was still no way over the try line for Bath. But they still ground out a first win in four games, thanks to the boot of Tom Homer. Another goal kicker who has been right on the money of late is Henry Slade. The Exeter Chiefs utility back added 21 points to his season's tally, which included a try, five conversions and two penalties against London Welsh. Thomas Waldron cemented his place as the league's top try scorer with touchdowns 11 and 12 in the record 74-19 romp, in which the Exiles had actually led by 12-6 after 20 minutes. None the Welsh skipper on the day, Richard Thorpe, frustrated yet positive about the display. The scoreline doesn't necessarily reflect how we feel about the game. Uh, there are some positives for us to take. We started really strongly. Um, we're very unlucky at the, uh, the back end of the first half with that ball bouncing over Nick Reynolds. And uh, we came out at half time thinking, well, it, it might actually be achievable for us to get another two tries and maybe pick up that elusive second point in the Premiership. Conor O'Shea's Harlequins were under serious pressure to claim their first Premiership win in four games against a London Irish side that is probably more focused on next season. Five Nick Evans kicks and a brilliantly worked Danny Kerr try helped lay the foundations in the first half, but Irish struck back through the boot of Shane Geraghty and a James Short touchdown. Quinn stuttered to victory in the second half. Matt Hopper extending the lead with his third try of the season, but Irish made it a nervous last quarter for the home side when Tom Fowley dotted down. The 2012 champions held out for a 26-20 win. Gloucester Northampton matchups rarely fail to disappoint, and the round 17 version was no exception. The Cherry and Whites led 23 9 at half time. Charlie Sharples crossed after a brilliant James Hook break and was followed by Richard Hibbard barging over when James Wilson had been sent to the sin bin. But the champions struck back in the second half. The boot of Stephen Myler and the quick feet of the returned Wilson narrowing the gap. Prop Dan Murphy extended the lead again for the host before a brilliant end to end Saints try let Wilson grab his second score. Greg Laidlaw's fourth penalty on 75 minutes gave Gloucester a seven point buffer. But Humphrey's side could not close out, and when Samu Manoa crossed with two minutes to go, Myla made sure of the two points. Another team who know about a late Northampton sucker punch are Saracens. They travelled to the Rico to face Wasps in front of the highest attendance of the round. Just under 17,000 witnessed two sides desperate for a win. And after an exchange of penalties between the two fly halves, it was the hosts who would seize the initiative with two outstanding tries. Firstly from Christian Wade, and then Elliot Daly with his fifth in four games. But Saracens fought back through tries from Jackson Ray and Chris Wiles, giving them the lead at the break. Alex Good added two more penalties in an uneventful second half to see Saris through to a vital victory at the top end of the table. Dean Richards welcomed his old side Leicester to Kingston Park to face a Newcastle team looking for a first win in four. And they got the perfect start when hooker Scott Lawson crashed over after a powerful rolling maul. Freddie Burns answered with two penalties for the visitors before a Sonotti Sonotti try put the Falcons in command just before half time. Burns got Tigers to within three with another shot at goal and then with five minutes to go substitute Tommy Bell scored what would turn out to be the crucial score. Home boss Richards left ruining a missed opportunity. We should have won, uh, but you, you've got to win it, haven't you? And uh, uh, with all the possession and, uh, and the territory, you know, we, we've got to get points on the board and we didn't, sadly. So some ground has been made on Northampton in the table. The gap to second place Chiefs reduced to nine points. Five points separate five teams in the race for the other home semi-final berth as Sale lose ground on the top six. 
Harlequins and Gloucester are still just about in the hunt for the Champions Trophy, while Irish and Falcons realistically will look to the new season. And London Welsh continue to search for that elusive second bonus point. So to catch up on all the best action, including interviews, highlights, full match replays, features of the past and present, log on to premiershiprugby.tv or subscribe to the official YouTube channel.